Hello to all you bike fans tuning in. Today's MotoGP race is being held in the rolling hills of Tuscany, where the Italian Grand Prix is about to start. The weather is fine and the temperature is perfect for racing. So we're just waiting to find out which riders have opted for hard tyres and which have gone for the soft. Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP 17 where today we are recreating the 2018 MotoGP Grand Prix of Italy on my sort of 2018 slash 2017 championship, whatever you want to call it. So, so far today we've managed to have a... I think it was an 8th place finish in Moto3. We did qualify on pole in that race, but unfortunately had a crash and dropped all the way down to 22nd. And in the Moto2 race, we actually didn't finish at all. We uh, qualified, I think, 16th, made it all the way up to 5th, and then unfortunately put the bike down and the bike hit the wall, which meant that we were out of that race. But hopefully we can turn it around here in MotoGP. So, Mugello, it's the fastest track on the entire MotoGP calendar. You hit, I think it's like 350 kilometers an hour in the draft at the end of the front straight. Going into turn one here is just absolutely ridiculous. These guys must just have balls of steel. I don't know how the hell they do it. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. I mean, coming from a four-wheel motorsport background, I mean, it makes that look piss easy compared to what these guys are doing on these two-wheeled machines. So, once again... If you are tuning into my channel for the first time, I do use a full 2018 mod, even though this is MotoGP 17. However, this is actually the last time I'm going to be playing on MotoGP 17 as the new Moto 18 game comes out, I think like two or three weeks from now, so really looking forward to that. We will be continuing this series on the new game, and I think, I'm not quite sure where the next race is, but it'll be interesting to see how the new game fares compared to this one. Alright, well, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this one. Now, I have optioned the medium rear tyre, or option for the medium rear tyre, as the tyre way around here is actually not that bad, so I've actually managed to get away with using the soft in the Moto2 race, although we didn't really last the entire distance, but I'm going to go with the gamble and use the soft on the front here as well. I don't know why, this track just doesn't really chew up the tyre that much on this game. I'm not sure about real life. It is 54 degrees, though, so it's bloody hot. There. It's going to be really no grip out there with this slick surface, so hopefully we can just survive the first few laps and use our race pace to get through the field. Unfortunately, our one lap pace has been awful this weekend, but hopefully we can just survive the first few corners. Grand Prix about to start any moment now here at the Mugello Circuit. It's one of the most technical and spectacular tracks on the whole calendar. Alrighty, here we go. Outside of row four, we've got Marquez on the pole. Let's try and get through the first corner without crashing. Oh, a wobble on the start. Shit. Not everyone's checking up. Oh my god, Elba's out. Could not get the bike settled for that second corner. That's right, we survived. Just. AI goes so slow through there. That's got to be one of the hardest corners on the entire MotoGP calendar. It's so fast. Wow, what a first lap. We're up in the fourth. Shit, bad exit. Come on. Alright, we're on a satellite bike, so we're going to have virtually no straight line speed. Holy 
Holy shit balls! Wow, it just pulled it up. Oh, wow, it's Yamaha. God, we're up in a second, holy crap! 12 to second in two laps. Oh wow. Thank you, Markers. Doing a Markers. We were second for a split second. get to the apex at all. This second sector I've been really bad in all weekend. The first and third sectors we're quite good in. I can, fr from here all the way around to that sort of fourth corner we seem to be quite quick. Sake, no. God damn it. Sick of being being held up by this guy. Nice if I didn't make a mistake. That's not the racetrack. Come on. A pack of bikes behind us. We do not want to fall back into that. Turn. What the fuck? Why is it not? I'll get this bike stopped, I don't know what's going on. This track is so slick compared to practice. Go away, Mark is.
Oh, the podium's getting away from us, come on. Almost halfway there. This is 50% of what the real life race is, so it's 12 laps in total. God, I finally got turn one right, and then I get bashed out the way again. Go away. MotoGP. Stop hitting me, for God's sake. This is getting beyond ridiculous. Every time I get a, to the front of this pack, I just get nailed by like three or so bikes and then get put right back into it. Look, come on, turn. Problem is, I'm using up so much tyre to try and get away from these guys. I um, have nothing left at the end of the race. Nailed again! Fuck's sake! These Hondas are ridiculous. Caddy's behind us now. It's not going to be good going into turn one. I can't we actually made it without getting t bone Bombs are just relentless. behind us. Oh my god, what the fuck? Can I not... Last one race without getting wrecked out by someone. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, this game is just ridiculous. It's like the AI just do not even recognize you as another rider on track. I hope they fix it that for 18 because it's getting pretty ridiculous. Like, uh, just taking my normal line and the Pramac just boom. <laughs> are so stupid.
Well, that drops us all the way down to 21st. We're in 7th, or 6th. halfway there and I've just got no front grip. Whole bike's just sliding wide. I don't know if that wreck caused any damage or what not but the bike has got no pace now. Oh my god, this whole race has just been a disaster. Every time I get in front of these guys, they just dive it on back in. Four laps to go, let's just try and at least get in the top 15. Three laps to go, come on. No, don't run away. I don't even give a shit anymore. So done with this AI, the AI on this game. Just gonna barrel my way through everyone. Oh my fuck! Right off.
Well, that's Zarko. I thought that was the Malaysian kid. Sarin or whatever his name is. Turn, you piece of shit. Yeah, I've used up the whole of the tyre. Just no pace left in this bike. I just want this thing to be over right about now. Well, the fight for 17th place is still on. Well, that has got to be the worst Grand Prix I have ever raced in my entire life. Right from Moto3 today, it started out as a shit show and it ended as a shit show. I mean, God, the AI on this game. I'm so glad <laughs> that this is our last race on MotoGP17 because, God, I hope they fix the AI for 18 because it's just so unbelievably painful. 46.6 was our quickest lap. We didn't really get a clean lap the entire race, to be honest, so we're not really sure how fast we could have gone. I think it was either Petrucci or Miller that wrecked us out. We'll go back and have a look here in a sec, but Davizioso gets the win over Vinales and Rins on the Suzuki gets third. Wow, what a day. Alrighty, so here's the start. Got a decent getaway. Tried to come straight to the inside so I could get a decent look at turn one. Oh, the brakes nice and early. It all bubbled up quite a bit, so I had nowhere to go there, but... Forced uh, Pedrosa out the way early on, that's a bit rude. Now at this point, we're in like 6th, and I'm like, oh my gosh, how the hell have we managed to get this far up the... up the grid? on the first couple of corners, but at this point it was just head down and try and keep going moving forward, but 
Just kept getting dive bombed from behind. So the end of lap one, we actually went all the way from 12th to 4th. That was our first minor error where we got into Vinales. There he got drilled by Marquez. Alright, so here was that incident with... Uh, I think that's Miller. I just don't... I don't understand. This is what I want MotoGP 18 to... Well, I want to fix in Moto 18. I mean, that little touch there from the Pramac just means that... We get wrecked out. The same thing happened in Moto 2 today. In both, like, we just had a small touch. We were on the inside, pretty much past the guy. And then we get... We get wrecked out, I mean, I just, I don't get it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a bit of a depressing finish, but it was pretty fun racing up until then. Unfortunately, we just didn't really have the outright pace this weekend. So hopefully next race we can come back on Moto GP 18 and get a better finish. But, yeah, no. The AI, I just hope they fix the AI. Until next time, we'll catch you later.